Hello, today I'm going to be talking about modelling malaria elimination strategies in Zambia. So this was an exercise we conducted in collaboration with the National Malaria Control Programme in Zambia and MASEPA at PATH. And the aim was to try and predict the impact of the 2016 to 2021 national strategy to eliminate malaria. So we work with our partners to try and understand what's the most likely set of interventions that are going to be implemented uh, going forwards. And this came up with 80% uh, bed net coverage across the whole country, 50% IRS coverage, 60% of cases effectively tested and treated, uh, a must drug administration in southern province only at 80% coverage, and a step D uh, active case detection in southern province, where index cases that turn up to clinic will be followed uh, by a community health worker to where they live and their uh, house and or neighbours will also be treated. So we used a um, mathematical model of malaria transmission to simulate this package of interventions to try and predict uh, the outcome uh, going into the future. So you see here, this is incidence uh, over time. Initially, we're in, about, in 2016, we're at about 3 million cases. And as the interventions come into place in 2017, we see a very sharp reduction in incidence down to a predicted um, 1 million cases per year, down from 3 million. One of the strategies that we were interested in looking at was what would happen if we did a mass drug administration across the whole country. So this is one of the benefits of modelling is that we can very easily explore hypothetical scenarios. So now we look at a simulation where we do two rounds of mass drug administration across the whole country in 2017 and 2018. And you see this results in a very sharp reduction in clinical incidence down to about half a million. However, mass drug administration is a transient intervention and it's not doing anything to change the fundamental transmission potential of an area. So the models will always predict that transmission will return to the levels that you would have achieved solely through uh, enhanced vector control and enhanced case management. It's also quite useful to look at this uh, on a geographical scale. Um, so the picture on the left shows the clinical incidence in Zambia as we are now in 2016. And then we can look at what happens um, looking at three different scenarios. So the top one, looking at transmission in 2020 and 2023 of the increased ve uh, vector control with no mass drug administration. We see um, large parts of the country are hugely reducing transmission. A lot of areas are reaching this uh, level one, which is uh, one to 50 cases per thousand people per year. There's a small amount of rebound by 2023, which is a result of waning immunity. If we look at the second row now, um, this is adding on top the mass drug administration across the whole country. So we see in 2020, a few more districts have reached this low grey level one of less than 50 cases per thousand per year. But again, by 2023, you're going to get the rebound because the mass drug administration is again a transient intervention. And finally, we can look at a really optimistic scenario, which is 90% uh, bed net coverage in combination with 70% IRS coverage across the whole country. And here we're seeing large areas of the country have moved to this low level one incidence region, probably about 80 or 90% of the country and a small amount of bounce back by 2023. So although from this modelling analysis in the current state with the current tools and the current healthcare system in place, we do not predict elimination across the whole country. However, I think there is definitely a positive take home message in that large areas of the country are going to greatly reduce their transmission and lots of areas are going to be on the, on the cusp of this uh, pre-elimination threshold. Thank you very much.